In tonight's Health Watch, here's a riddle. What do you get if you combine an EKG heart monitor with a Wi-Fi transmitter and then shrink it all down to the size of a memory stick? Well, you get an EKG recorder that helps doctors find dangerous heart rhythms. Dr. Max Gomez is here now with more on how this all comes together. Doctor. You guys ever felt your heart flutter or maybe skip a beat a little bit? No. Just around each other? No. Okay, no. all right. You know, those are very common heart rhythm abnormalities, arrhythmias. The vast majority of those are harmless, but certain ones can be dangerous. The trick is catching that abnormality in the act so a doctor can tell if it's dangerous. 20-year-old really Gabrielle Michio, Gabby to her friends, looks as healthy as any third-year college student. And she is, except for a nasty heart problem she's had for about five years. It starts racing. It can go from a low, normal resting heart rate to something like someone's running. I get nauseous, uh, dizzy. Um, I did faint one time. Gabby has had innumerable EKGs done, but Gabby's arrhythmias are unpredictable. They come out of the blue. And the the key to diagnosing heart arrhythmias is catching them in the act. Something called a Holter monitor can record for a few days, but that's often not enough for arrhythmias as sporadic as Gabby's. If an individual has, let's say, infrequent symptoms happening once every couple of weeks or months, then, or what they happen when they're sleeping and they, they can't uh, tell us this. So Dr. Vivek Reddy, cardiac electrophysiologist at Mount Sinai Hospital, has decided that Gabby needs the latest technology in heart monitoring, something called an implantable loop recorder. It's a tiny device about the size of a memory stick that packs a lot of technology. Once it's inserted under the skin with just a little local anesthesia, seizure, it monitors and records Gabby's heart rhythm for up to three years and automatically uploads it for Dr. Reddy to analyze. We may consider giving a medication, a different type of medication, depending again, tailored to what that abnormal rhythm might be. Another possibility is that she has a recurrence of what we did an ablation for. Gabby just wants her episodes to get better. I just don't want to have to experience all of this again. Now, the ablation doctor already mentioned is something Gabby's had twice already. It's where he goes in and uses radio frequency to destroy small areas of abnormal heart tissue that may be triggering the arrhythmias. The loop recorder will tell if that has to be done again, but obviously Gabby doesn't want that to, to have to doesn't want to have to have that procedure done again. Of course not. After three years, when the battery runs out. Another little incision, just take it out. And wow. you're good to go. You're good to go. Yeah, I don't want to feel that, that arrhythmia business. <laughs> no. I don't know. Well, most people, they don't like it, but the vast majority of those are completely benign. Right. Hmm. But you got to figure out which ones aren't. True. Thanks, All Dr. Right. Max.